All right, so what's cool is I can run this air conditioner, which is a portable AC and heater, right now off the Delta Pro for about three hours. It uses about 1,050 to 1,100 watts in heat mode, uh, close to 1,300 in cool mode. Um, right now you can see hundred percent and right now it's not using any solar that's because it's at a hundred percent not until about 96 percent are we gonna see it start to draw input now here you're gonna see the output is just about stabilized at 1300 watts um, so from here you're going to see this number go down a little bit quicker and you're going to see this go down a little bit quicker so we're at 1300 and it's going to run for about two hours and 30 minutes just about now air conditioners don't run constant so this is going to um this is going to last longer than that so as long as it's able to keep up and shut off as it needs to um, you're going to get better time right here that's not shown kind of a it's what they call cycling so that two hours and 24 minutes um, can be five hours if need be um, when it gets to 97 percent i'll show you what it looks like when the solar comes back on all right so now you see that the battery is down to 97 percent and there we go we're going to see the uh, solar start to ramp up. And there we go. Got that little graph right there. Now what's neat is you can see this has gone up. And that's because of our 1,026 watts coming in. And we're running 1,327 watts going out. So this is going to show you the graph as the compressor gets warmer. But there's the 1200 watts of solar right here. And the cord runs down and up into the window where you can actually see where I've got my portable air conditioner blowing out. So we're at 1.10 p.m. here in East Tennessee. Um, and so 1,200 watts, um, you get 1,030, which I've seen over 1,200 before. But today, it's nice and clear. There's the sun right there. Just a light, light haze. But we're actually getting that. 1025 watts which is impressive and so this is on a Delta Pro and we're using basically four panels on the top two three four two three four and then on the bottom we got three four five six seven so one two three four five six panels and these are wired in series to the main and then the negatives are ran in series to the main so that's six panels and then these are wired in series to the main and then these are wired in series on the negatives to the main so we have one negative and one positive and we usually have about 113 volts which is at the uh, when it's operating and right around 11 amps and so my open circuit voltage is actually right about 135 and this is all from using 
if I had all if I had six Renogy panels in a row, I would have 140 to 143 volts open circuit. Um, 148.2 volts open circuit, which is too close to the Delta Pro's 150 volt max. Um, so by using the HQSTs to in each of the six series, that brought the voltage down to a lot uh, more comfortable voltage um, and only running 11 amps. So that allows me to actually get um, a better uh, better safety for the MPPT controller that's built into the Delta Pro. And here we go, we actually got 1,050 uh, watts right now, which is really good. Uh, we're almost at solar noon. But I like to use the Renogies because they're very, they're, they're very efficient. I mean, how many solar panels do you see get a, you know, 1,058 watts? Um, and I even get about three, 400 out of that array um when it's cloudy out so um i'm able to still run but here's everything running 1340 watts going out and 1070 coming in and now we've actually got eight and a half hours that this can run constant so you can run a portable air conditioner or air conditioner all day off of the delta pro delta max you just see half of everything half the capacity um, half the uh, input and here we go we got a cloud coming over so and look at this we're still getting 200 watts so that's pretty impressive to still actually see that uh, the hqst are actually pretty um, efficient even in cloudy weather um, but the renegies i've noticed i've i've had four renegies and four HQSTs side by side, and the Renogies still produced 10 to 15 percent more dur during uh, hot summer days, or during the clouds, or with the angle. It's, the Renogies always had 10 to 15 percent higher, no matter what it was. Hot panel, cold panel, cloudy, sunny, does not matter. 10 to 15 percent is really good uh, they even advertise and these are the blue corner the blue corner ones um, I actually have one of the uh, the old style right there um, that was 22% these are 23% efficiency versus your HQSTs are about 21% efficiency um, so to have 10 to 15% um, efficiency better really gives you a better uh, during a cloudy day upkeep which if you had a storm or if you had um if you had your power knocked out um and you're still gonna have cloudy weather for a little while it's nice to be able to still get something out of these panels and that's enough to run your fridge 150 to 200 watts is enough to keep your fridge running and your fridge doesn't stay running constant especially your inverter ones they may ramp down or ramp up as they need to um, but there you go there's there's a day in using uh, Delta Pro. And this is what I do all day. Um, I leave it I leave it on and I get my 1050 coming in. And it's more like 500 when the sun first comes out, ramps up to tw uh, about 1200 and then throughout the day. And it's enough to cover this throughout the day. I'll usually start the day out with 100% um, and then by the end of the day, um, I'll end up having probably close to, uh, you know, 30 or 40 percent, and at that time, I don't really need it as much. So there you go. Renogy panels with the EcoFlow Delta Pro, um, the perfect combination. Hopefully that helps. Everybody asks, why do you have just all the 100 watts? Why not use the uh, 250 watt? Well, these are light and they're actually decently cheap so i can just replace them very easily so have a good day thanks for watching